Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I have a couple of unboxings for you. Um, the diamond painting I'm going to save for last. I was contacted by uh, Paint With Diamonds uh, in order to do a product review, uh, and they allowed me to select a diamond painting that I wanted to do, and I did that. Um, it is a large one because the painting I selected had a lot of detail in it, so I'll get into that in just a little bit, but first, I have an unboxing from none other than one of my favorite Etsy shops, Diamond Painting Bliss. Yay, so excited to be doing this. Um, so, my friend, uh, Cindy Stevens, had ordered some cube uh, shelving from, I believe, Amazon. And they have, you know, little cubed areas that you can place items in. And the diamond painted boxes fit perfectly in those cubes. So I, I have some uh, and I ordered a, a, a few more uh, to fit in those cubes because behind me, I'm gonna just need more storage space. Um, this is not a large craft space. And so I figured I would go vertical rather than, you know, more stuff that I can't walk around and trip over. So <clears throat> what I got. Oh, and I also added something else in that I thought was very, very cute. I got this llama journal. It is so cute. Corner. Okay. At least I think I ordered this. Um, again, I know everyone does this, right? You guys sometimes forget what you order. But I, I think this is very, very cute. The area with the stars on it, you do not diamond paint, uh, just the area where it's got the codes uh, or the symbols for your drills. Um, and again, it's a, just a lined journal and, um, you know, take notes in it. These days I have to write everything down or it just goes out of my brain. So I have plenty of uh, journals to write in and I thought that would be very, very cute. Um, some of the drills for this are uh, special shapes, special drills. I'll let you look at them really, really quick. I'm not gonna take a lot of time going through these and I certainly won't open up the drills for all the boxes, but you can see we've got some, you know, marquee shapes. We've got domes, gold, look at those colors. That is gonna be absolutely beautiful. And then you've got your regular drills to finish out the uh, project. You got some pinks and oranges and pretty blues. Oh, I love this color. That's a gorgeous color. So that is the journal. Love that. And again, it is a llama. The no drama llama. So I will put that up here. Next we have, okay. I'm not certain what this is. Oh, this is the epic, epic, epic treat bag that she always puts in. Um, Amy is one of the owners of Diamond Painting Bliss. She did send some stickers. Look, it's a Halloween or fall Hello Kitty. Love it. A diamond, a butterfly, and a yin and yang sun and moon. Love those stickers. Thank you so much, Amy. She wrote a note. As always, thank you so very much. Um, anyhow, um, oh, I didn't order the notebook. She said, I sent you a little notebook extra. Uh, the top corner is bent, so I didn't feel right selling it. I thought you would want it. Oh, absolutely, Amy, thank you so much because I didn't remember order, ordering that and now I don't feel so crazy, kind of. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for all you do. Dear Karen, thank you for the continued love and support you give us and sharing us with everyone. It means more than I could ever put into words. Um, you guys are not forgetting about me. No, we never forget about Diamond Painting Bliss. It's great. Anybody looking for specialty items um, that are sometimes partial drill, full drill, but special shapes, special drills, go to Diamond Painting Bliss. She has a ton of stuff. I did uh, a hairbrush. I've done a jewelry box. Just She's got a variety of items in that shop that um, she's got, and uh, she will take very, very good care of you. Before I get into the boxes, though, let's look. At this epic, I mean, again, I don't care if you order $5 worth of stuff or $500 worth of stuff, you get this epic 
prize bag and she is so talented at it. First of all, I got a happy Halloween trick or treat bag with candy and look what she sent, Marlin. Banana Laffy Taffy. Then I got an airhead. Oh my gosh, so, so much great stuff. Thank you so much, Amy. I got some really pretty washi tape uh, that came with it. And again, look, I mean, this is what she sends with your order, which I think is so nice and so kind of her. All kinds of extras. So let's get these out. Oh, I always love everything she sends. It's always unique, original. I just, oh, look at that paw. It's either a cat or a dog paw. I believe it's a cat because it's got a cat on it. It is a pencil sharpener, but the top is a paw. How cute. I got, um, this is really cool. It is, uh, on one end is a brush. So if you have your diamonds in a tray and need to brush them out, that can help you. And then the top, if you spill your drills, the top of this is sticky so you can pick them up quicker and uh, brush them off. So that is a very handy tool to have when you're diamond painting. Love that. She spent, she, oh, she sent some special drills. Look at this. Um, berries and cream dazzlers. Those are crystals. They're absolutely beautiful. It's a light, light pink. And she did send some, this is white AB. Uh, what does AB stand for, Kara? We all know. It is a special coating. Put it put on the drills to help them capture the light. And all together, everyone, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. So thank you so much, Amy. And oh my gosh. These are so popular right now, and I can't believe she sent one. It is a metal tip. I love these metal tips. Uh, they've got rings on them to help them stay in your diamond painting pen. But if you are a hard presser like me, sometimes you go through the plastic tips really, really quickly. I love this, Amy. Thank you so much. I will definitely use this. Uh, I have started my Randall Spangler for Season of Spangler, the collab that I'm doing with Brandy of Mystery of Diamonds. And it is square, so I more than likely am going to be single placing. So I will definitely be putting that into my diamond painting pen to do that with. I, I have done some multi-placing and have done uh, well with it. What is this? It's another paw. Oh, and I love these bags. They're heavy duty plastic. Can I get it open? Open, yay. All right, what is this? No way. They're scissors. Look at that. Oh my gosh. How fun is that? I have just gotten back into cross stitching. How perfect are those mini scissors? I have never seen a scissor set up like that, but the little paws are the handles on your scissors. Amy, those are adorable. I will definitely be using those. Thank you so much. See all these goodies that she sends. It's amazing. All right, there's still more in here. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get it all out. Come out, come out. Okay, this, okay. This is not what I thought it was. Again, she just sends all kinds of surprises. This is a little, oh my gosh, it's a little cat with a clasp on it that you can clasp on a keychain. Um, I believe this actually is the keychain that you uh, clasp the little cat onto. So you've got a cute Halloween keychain. Oh my gosh, Amy, you spoil me. These bowl clips, um, obviously you can use them for clipping paper, but uh, if you have a diamond painting and you have maybe a setup where it is angled up, you can always clip the sides of your diamond painting with these clips and they work beautifully. Amy, thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna put all these to the side so I don't lose them. But wait, I'm telling you, there's more. These, these gift bags are epic. Okay. One more thing out of the bag. And look at the cute organza bag with the Halloween and the cats and the bats. Oh. Okay, I believe these, yes, I believe these are rub-on transfers um, that you can transfer onto a surface to make it a little bit more decorative. Look at the butterflies. Oh, my gosh. And then, okay. It's a little thank you card. And get this open. Yes, here we go. <clears throat> it's a cover minder, and look, it's a cat. Oh my gosh, it's a cat in a Halloween hat. I love this. This is definitely going to go on my cover minder display. And it says, Thank you for supporting my small business, Amy. Thank you for all of this stuff. I'm 
I'm amazed. And again, guys, this is just the goodies that she sent. And thank you again, Amy, for the notebook. I love it. I will be doing that and using that. Okay. Because I got, I believe, three boxes, I did get three toolkits. Uh, she does send a toolkit for each item that you purchase. They are basic toolkits, the wax, the bags, the pen, and the boat, which is great. Everything you need to diamond paint. And this is what I got. And like I said, I will uh, not be spending an, a million years going through drills or anything, but I wanted you, you to see these boxes because they're super cool. And if someone would be interested in a storage system like this, okay, these are different. These are colored. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my first one is a mandala. And these are a little bit smaller than the boxes that I am normally used to getting. But what you do is you pop them open. And then in, I don't think you can see it because it's so dark, but in the bottom, it has a little insert that you just press down to make the box stand up. I am certain I can get two of these in one of those cubes because two of these put together is going to be the size of a regular box, which is fine. I love these. These are great. Um, the mandala has, again, all kinds of special color shapes. This is all crystal and special drills. So you have beautiful colors. There is a lot of drilling to be done on this box, but you can see where it would be great for storage. You can put, you know, whatever you need to, to store. And the other one I got is a beautiful swan. I, most, well, all of the boxes that I purchased from her in the past have been white, but these are, you know, one's green and uh, now this one is pink. It's a beautiful swan. Again, you're just gonna open it up and you can see that insert that you press down at the bottom of the box to help it hold its form. And you've got yourself a great storage box. And again, look at the beautiful swan. Lots of special shapes, special drills in this one. You got teardrop stars, uh, some slivers. Ooh, look at those. Those are like AB slivers. Those are beautiful. So I will have so much fun working on these. Thank you so much, Amy. I love all the treats, the notebook, the boxes. You, you guys are too much. Um, I truly appreciate you. Please go support um, this wonderful Etsy shop, Diamond Painting Bliss. Um, they're a great company, family-owned company, husband and wife team. Um, and again, they're the sweetest people, and I just love them. And I will be singing their praises. So that is what I got from Diamond Painting Bliss. I will put those to the side. I'm thinking, because I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to scooch you this over to the side as much as I can. Okay, so let's get into this product review. Okay, again, this is Paint with Diamonds. Um, let your mind wander. I have ordered from Paint with Diamonds in the past. They were double-sided adhesive, so I was not a huge fan. Um, but I am pleased to inform you that they have switched over to poured glue. And I was... I, I was I mean, thrilled that they asked me to review a product because anytime I get asked that, I'm like, yay, oh my gosh, yes, that'll be great. Um, I purposefully selected an image um, that was a landscape image with more detail. And they came back and asked me what size, I, once I selected the painting, they came back and asked me what size I wanted. And I said, I'm going to let you select the size because it's got to be big enough where these details are not going to be pixelated. And so they did. It is a 60 by 80 or an 80 by 60. So it is a larger painting. So I can't wait to, I have not seen it. I can't wait to get into it and show you. It came in this. I just took the bag off so you wouldn't have to see me struggle or cutting it. So let's get into it. Um, you know, again, their boxes are branded. Um, Paint with diamonds, premium DIY diamond painting kit, let your mind wander. The box got a little bit squished, but that is nothing, not a big deal. Uh, on the back is how to get started with your steps on how to diamond paint. Um, you can join the Paint with Diamond Club to share progress or Instagram. All, all of their social media is here. Um, your satisfaction is guaranteed. Um, anyhow, uh, Corey is the CEO of Paint with Diamond. So um, anyhow, uh, there is a satisfaction guarantee and what is included in the kit is on the side. So you get an adhesive can a canvas, diamond pack, your pen, tweezers, uh, a wider tip, so a, a multi-placer, uh, wax, and a tray. So let's get into this and see what we have got from Paint with Diamonds. Thank you, Paint with Diamonds, for allowing me to review this product. I'm always appreciative uh, when companies let me, let me do that. Okay, very, first of all, very canvassy canvas 
which is fine. You know, canvases come in all kinds of textures. It is poured glue, and I believe it is going to be horizontal from the looks of things now that I've rolled it. But because it is poured glue, you can roll it back. Before you could not, you will ruin your canvas. Double-sided adhesive, uh, don't do this. And, you know, again, let's see how well this canvas flattens out. We have a runaway drill. That is okay. Canvas looks to be very, very good. Not, no, you know, wrinkles or bubbles on the back of it. Um, very smooth. Again, very, can you can you can hear me rolling it back. It's very canvassy. Um, and at the end, I always zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Okay. This is information on welcome to the family, how to get started, that sort of thing. Okay, I am impressed right off the bat. First of all, you get a, you get a color uh, inventory sheet with the image. The image is extremely clear on this inventory sheet. This is New Life at the Old Farm by James Hotman. It does look Chuck, I know it looks Chuck Pinson-y. I know it does, but it's it's not a Chuck Pinson and they do license their artists. So this is James Hotman. And again, the title of it is New Life at the Old Farm. You can see it very, very clearly. We've got a barn and an old tractor, some deer, truck, windmill, all that kind of thing. Um, not sure how many colors there are, but it appears two, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, probably about 45 to 50 colors. So that's really a lot. And you, you're going to need all those colors um, to get the detail. <clears throat> and again, it is a six, or it's an 80 by 60 centimeter. Sorry, I can't read. 40 colors. So again, it does show that he is licensed for this picture uh, with Paint with Diamonds. Your toolkit, again, I'm, I'm impressed right off the bat. Um, toolkit, nice bag it comes in, branded bag it comes in. You get a lot in the toolkit. Um, if I can get it out to show you, that would be fantastic. All right, so um, you do get um, a plate of uh, heart wax. Again, there is plastic on the top and the bottom, so remember to peel that plastic back so you can get some wax in your pen. A squishy for comfort uh, when you're diamond painting. A single placer. And you have a couple of multi-placers, which is nice. Are they labeled? I have to guess. This is a four, it says it's a four, no, seven placer. Sorry, I was like, that doesn't look like a four placer. And this looks to be, this is a four placer. So a seven placer and a four placer. So you've got some selection there. Nice white tray with a funnel. Ooh, it is branded on the back. Paint with diamonds. Very impressive paint with diamonds. I'm liking the improvements. I really, really am. Um, and then a pair of your tweezers with the sheath. They are the stabbing kind, so leave the sheath on. Keep away from children and do not stab yourself with them. Or your husband. Or your husband. <laughs> okay, we're going to get rumors started, Marlon. Stab your husband. Give me a break. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Silly man. Okay, so I'm going to put all this back in the toolkit. But again, I am impressed with the improvements. Um, they, have, they have made some changes, and I can tell. Another reason I am impressed with this uh, company and the improvements they made. Look at that. All of your drills are individually baggied. So again, you don't have to kit up. You can uh, just use the individual baggies and um, put them in, uh, you know, one of your Bella Art Day Nicole trays. Let me grab it. This is mine. I love it. And you just put the bag, you can put the baggies in this way or long ways and you just lay the baggies in there and you are good to go. So you don't have to kit up if you don't like to do that. Oh, don't fall. Okay, so I'll let's look at the drills in a minute. Let's look at this image. I am so ready, so ready. <clears throat> it's flattening out very nicely. Uh, the canvas is uh, branded at the top, paint with diamonds, let your mind wander. Um, there are uh, two, this is, wow, this is, I don't, you don't see this very often. Um, it is uh, labeled New Life at the Old Farm, James Hotman, uh, licensed, 40 colors. Um, you have your uh, DMC codes and number of drills and your symbols, and you have a thumbnail on the top right. And look at this, at the bottom left, you have the same setup, also with a thumbnail. Normally on most diamond paintings, you get the thumbnail on one side and not the other, so that is great. What does this say? Join the club. Okay, more social media. I mean, it is lots of information on here. I love it. Okay, let's look at the image. I think it is big enough where we're going to see some detail. 
of course, you're not going to know until you lay drills down on the painting. So I will let you know uh, when I do this one uh, what it looks like once the drills are laid down. But it is easy to see from what I can see the details in this painting. Um, and again, it is big enough to where we should be able to capture the uh, details uh, very well. There are no ABs in this kit, which I don't mind because with landscapes, if you do too much blingy blingy, sparkle sparkle, it kind of sometimes looks unnatural and I don't want to over bling something. So, and when I, whenever I do um, a diamond painting from a company for the first time, I don't trade anything out. I do it as is, as the company recommends and as it is rendered on the canvas because I just want to see, you know, what you're going to get. So let's lay these drills out. Let me turn this over. Like I said, it's a big boy. So uh, hopefully the details will come through. It is a round diamond painting. I just, again, I just started my Randall Spangler for uh, Season of Spangler. It's a square. It has been for ever since I've done a square and it was kind of weird starting out. I was like, wow, how long has it been since I've done a square? All right, let's get these colors out here. Um, again, I'm not going to go through them all and take 50 years to do it, but um, again, it is a landscape scene. So you're going to have a lot of natural colors found in nature, you know, dark blues, grays, taupes. I'm just going to lay them out so you get a visual of this and brown like cranberries. I'm excited to do this. I have not two bags of this blue. It may go where the water is in the, in the road. Um, just guessing at this point. All right, 819. There's gonna be some pinks, some oranges. This is, okay, 904 and 937 look really similar, but they're different colors. 318, 317. Got some 312, you are gonna have some 310. There's a bag of 310, but again, it is a landscape, so that's not a surprise. Okay, I've got some escaping drills. Okay, where are they escaping from? Do we have an open bag? Uh-oh, I hope we don't. Oh. Okay, just a couple. Um, again, 934. I'm just checking to make sure these green bags are shut because I'm seeing several of these green drills that have escaped. Sorry. More pink, light green, some grays, 415, 414. Can they see all these colors, honey? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Maybe you can pan them around. All right, 355, 356. Again, I don't want to take... Ooh, look at that pretty lavender. I love that. And, oh, I lied. There is a second bag of 310. So you might be living a little bit of 310 life, but I've seen bags much larger than that of the 310. So that is your color palette. Like I said, it is a landscape. So you're gonna have a lot of uh, colors found in nature since it is outside with trees and everything else. So I'm excited to do this. And again, I will do a post review on this and show it to you when I get it done and let you know how it goes. And I will be doing this. Um, if this turns out really well, I'm going to have this put up in our house because I'm decorating our house and farmhouse. And I think this would be perfect on a wall. So, um, all right, guys, that is what I have for you this evening. I hope you guys have a great evening, have had a great start to your week, and I will see you back here. Uh, I will be doing a whip and chat this week for my, again, my collab with Mysteria. Uh, season of Spangler. Uh, so tune into that because you do need to comment on those whipping chats to uh, get entered for prizes and the prizes are going to be great. Randall Spangler himself will be on both of our channels throughout this month. Um, so I'm hoping a lot of you are, uh, are joining and have just started again. I started my diamond painting from him today. Thank you again. Paint with diamonds. Uh, I'm very impressed with the improvements that you've made and cannot wait to work on this canvas. Thank you, Diamond Painting Bliss, for the beautiful boxes and all of the surprises that you sent. Uh, I am very, very grateful, and that's what I've got for you. And before I leave, I'm going to leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off. <laughs>